Hello, everyone. My name is Holden Hardman. Joined with me today is my beautiful girlfriend, Jennifer. Hello again. We just posted a video of me introducing her to the channel. We went on a road trip to the Titanic Museum in Branson, Missouri. As was expected, we got some comments about it, mostly about um, how you're out of my league. Let's talk about some of these comments. I figure that would be good, a good way to just confront that head on. I'm a little, it makes me a little sad because I, I know you and I know the type of person that you are. And I would hope that some people would understand that I can look past, you know, just... Me not being as attractive. No, you are. It's just, there's more to you and that's, I don't know. I, I would hope that people look at the same way towards me. I mean, that I'm more than just outward appearances. I like you because of who you are and all those things that come along with it. You're smart. You are dedicated. You're very good at what you do. So well, let's look at a couple of these. This one has quite a few likes. Holden giving hope to us nerds that we can also find a gorgeous and wonderful woman like Jen. That one, I'm so glad that that was the first comment because <laughs> I feel like it was very positive and that it was very, very sweet. Yeah. And I, I appreciate that. There's also much. the implication that like a nerdy guy like me can get with somebody that's as gorgeous as you. So you're welcome, nerds everywhere. It's possible. You can do it too. It's nice to see Matt and Jenna's mom. <laughs> I guess I'm the mom, so. Yeah. If you don't know, uh, there's an inside joke on the channel that I'm Matt and Jenna's uh, father. And Which so, since... I did not actually figure out until just a couple days ago. Um, <laughs> so I was very confused <laughs> on some of these comments. Holden, I'm an introvert. I don't like dealing with people. That's true. You're actually kind of like that too. I hope it doesn't make me sound like a terrible person, but I very much do not like dealing with um, a lot of people. Not that I hate people, I just, I like to stay in my own space. Also Holden, ends up having a relationship with his boss. It's hard to explain, because she I, wasn't my supervisor. Well, it's pretty easy to explain. I was <laughs> I was his team lead. I was not his manager. I was not his supervisor. I was kind of the in-between. If, if you said I had to do something, I had to do it. That's true, yes. And you sometimes did it. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend watches every Star Wars movie for the first time. So you've only seen like one Star Wars anyways. I don't even remember the name. Not to say it before everybody's There's like, a lot <gasps> of people. before everybody freaks out, I'm very open to watching them. Um, it's just not something that I've ever watched. I feel like I am a geek in my own right. Like I love the X-Files. You know, I really like um, The Outer Limits. It was one of my favorite shows. What's interesting, it surprises me because you haven't seen Star Wars. You haven't seen like the Marvel cinematic, no. the movies that Matt Matt and I are watching now because I know people are going to be like, oh, y'all going to, I don't know if I'm going to do all these movies again. This have been like such commitments. We might watch Star Wars. What's interesting is that you and I watch so many movies together. We so do. it's weird that you haven't seen like Star Wars. But I just never got around to it. I like to think that I'm very open to watch um, different types of movies and TV shows. I feel a whole new series my girlfriend watches. We'll see. The real question we should be asking is, does she like Spider-Man? So again, um, not. I only saw the first one with, well, I don't even know. Is Tobey Maguire? Tobey Maguire in yeah, all of the them. The best one. We'll, I'm, we'll sure, definitely that. I'm sure that's going to change. I don't <laughs> think that I can say that, you know, even like just as your friend, it's kind of weird to say yeah. that I've never seen all of this. Spider-Man movies. Yeah. I saw a couple other comments before as well. Like, Jen is not a stranger to me. We've known each other for a very yes. long time. We've always been very, very close. And I I always had, like, Spider-Man-themed things just, like, throughout our whole friendship. Like, I feel like I had stuff on my desk that was Spider-Man stuff. Yeah. I think one Valentine's Day, well, I was giving out, like, little cards to, like, everybody in the office. They were Spider-Man-themed. Yeah. You know, I got my Spider-Man tattoo. You know who I am, I you mean, know? everybody, not just me, everybody <laughs> knew, you know, Holden and Spider-Man kind of went <laughs> in sync with each other. <laughs> that was just kind of common knowledge. If a nerd like Holden can pull a baddie like her, things are looking up for the rest of us boys. You're welcome. I'm glad I could be your source of uh, inspiration. <laughs> Obviously, you're attractive, but you are just so fun to be around. You always have been, and I just, um, I've always loved spending time with you. Qualities like that are more important than looks, you know? I mean, uh, I really hope so. Like I said, I would want to be known for more than just outward appearances you or you know i'm seeing a lot of comments saying that jen is in some way a great catch or out of his league or something maybe it's just that i'm older and beauty is no longer my kryptonite but we've seen holden through many vids and have ample evidence he is smart kind compassionate fair and a genuinely decent human being we barely know her i hope that she is worthy of him that comment rings true um especially you know all the qualities about you
you. Those are the reasons that um, I was your friend in the first place. That's the reason why we are where we are now. I feel like out of everything, funny, That's it. Yeah. funny, funny, funny. Um, and that kind of coincides with a lot of the comments of, I saw a lot of people saying, you know, if you're funny, you can get anybody. And that's so true as long as you are... Hilarious. Com- well, not just that, but Hilarious. confident, you know, the way that you carry yourself, but you're also very uh, respectful. And um, so all of that mm. kind of combined. I'm glad that somebody did comment all the qualities about you and that yeah, thank I you. should be worthy of you. And Didn't know Holden could pull like that. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate that. Wasn't expecting her to be hot. Thanks. My question is, what were you expecting? Ex- I'm very, (laughs) I'm very, very curious, actually. She's the female version of you. What a perfect match. I feel like that's my favorite comment. I really do because it's not talking about looks, your end, my end, anything. And it kind of goes to just our character, how we get along. And Mm -hmm. that really makes me happy Happy. because that's kind of how I feel. You and I, our entire friendship, we were very always in sync with each other, always laugh, big on the laughing. Like Mm -hmm. it was always a good time. So you're saying that there's actually hope for us introverts. Absolutely. Uh, Yeah. I mean, I really think that it boils down to just finding somebody that you get along with, somebody that you can trust. Um, yeah. Somebody that makes you laugh more than anything. I mean, I feel like that's completely underestimated. Making somebody laugh. Eh. We had no pressure like in any point of, in our friendship either because you were with somebody, mm-hmm. I was with somebody long term for both of us. So mm-hmm. it, it just removed that whole aspect. So there never was going to be an us. We were just friends. Yeah, there was no, uh, there was never any crossing of the lines, you know, when we were just friends. Um, it was completely platonic, like you mentioned. I would definitely agree that it allowed us to be very just kind of free to be ourselves and there was no pressure or anything like that that kind of naturally comes with um, starting something romantic i mentioned in the other video too that we had we already had like such a strong foundation of trust between one another so when the romantic aspect started to kind of get involved it was weird for both of us because we were like it's just so natural it's just so fluid because we're skipping all this extra so what do you do for a living you know what what do you I already know you so well both of us were going through a really difficult time with each other's relationships first and foremost we were just there for each other as friends and that just naturally escalated that's one thing I can say there was never any pressure or anything like that it was very very fluid very very happy naturally yeah I agree with you all that she's gorgeous and great but please don't pretend like Holden ain't a charming hunk too thank you (laughs) <laughs> After skimming the comments below, I see a new web series, Holden's Dating Advice. I don't know if you'd want my dating advice. I gave like one person advice in the comments. You don't play any, there's no games. Um, you're just... It's just very forward with what, what I want. What you see is what you get. And that is, um, you can you can depend on that. I view you like as a person, I guess. I know that that's kind of weird to say, yeah. but it's true. I don't, it's weird for like, oh, she's so hot and stuff. And you are, you're gorgeous. But it's also like, that's never been like enough for me. We we really do get along and we've always just been close. Yeah. And I value that so much. Like Holden, how do you get hot chicks? I, I, I listen, I listen, <laughs> yeah. I, I listen, listen to them. <laughs> talk, we work out problems. She like friends. I'm so happy she compared you guys to Chandler and Monica. Yes, I was not gonna go with Rachel and Ross. <laughs> no, I think you're definitely more like Chandler. And as much as I don't want to admit it, I am, A lot like Monica. Monica. Let's see. This is how I imagine Matt meeting Jennifer for the first time. Holden. Matt, this is my girlfriend Jennifer. Jennifer, hello. Matt, friends is garbage. (laughs) (laughs) I would hope Matt has uh, would not say that. Um, I've already met Matt. I don't know his opinion on friends. Um, He's never seen it. That's what. That's everybody's reaction to. (laughs) When he hasn't seen something. Before the COVID thing happened, yeah. uh, we were still working together. And it was kind of like, I was obviously the first one that was like, hey, Jen, you looking good today. You know, there was this time that Matt came to the office to come see me. And I had already told him about you. And I was like, you know, things are kind of, you know, I, I just don't know where she stands with me. I just don't really know what's going on. And he came to the office. And right in front of Jen's freaking door that was open, he's like, which one is Jen? Like, and I was just, it was so embarrassing. And I remember going into your office, like, did you hear what he said? And you're like, no. And of course, me being naturally like curious, I was like, hear what? Yeah. And, and he's, like, he's like, nope, I'm not telling Nothing. you. And I eventually got it out of him, but it was very, yeah. 
very hard to get out. Yeah, I about I wanted to kill Matt. It's like, Matt, <laughs> shut up. Will Jen be joining the My Friend Watches series? Um, you know, this is something that we talked about. I'm always open to do it. I don't know if I would be able to do, you know, every single one. But I love movies. I love TV shows. Um, my first job was at, you know, a Hollywood video. I think we're going to get through the MCU stuff because you haven't seen those movies. So I feel like if we, since we're almost at the end now, yeah. I feel like you would just be like, I have no idea who's who, what's, you know, what's what. Because it's such a continue. We're like 20 chapters in almost. Yeah. But I think after the MCU, when we start doing like the one-offs or starting new series, I would love to have you on there. This makes me want to find a girl and just do random and impulsive, spontaneous things and just go on adventures. Just doing things like that are, yeah. it's important. We're big I on mean, the quality. No matter, no matter like what your relationship is, whether you're friends, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're married, that stuff is important to get out and do stuff even in the days of COVID. So both Matt and Holden have girlfriends called Jen. Well, she's honest, Jenna. Yeah, and to be honest, there's a lot of us in the world. I mean, so it's really not that <laughs> like... Just what are the odds, I guess. These guys in comments saying, how do you pull her sound like losers? You can get any chick you want if you have confidence in her funny. That's exactly true. I would add to it, you know, as long as you treat her good, you're gold and being funny and confident, you know, does not hurt at all but um it's <laughs> <laughs> i know a lot of people focus on what's on the outside and whatnot but it's really to be meaningful it has to go a lot deeper than that the way you were able to find someone who is immediately likable pretty and doesn't mind being on camera congrats that was very very sweet my homie got all kinds of game you're right <laughs> <laughs> she's your lobster well that's just a little bit of us reading some comments uh jen will be in future videos maybe not the my friend watches series so we finish the mcu mm -hmm. but um we'll be doing more adventures and doing probably more vlog style like that i just enjoy making them they're not too taxing as, yes, far as, as long as you guys will have me and everybody was very very um sweet and very very welcoming and so i very very much appreciate it yeah if you enjoyed this video leave it a like helps me out a lot comment down below letting me know what you guys think be respectful i swear to god subscribe if you want to see more fun content like this join my patreon for exclusive access to certain videos as always we appreciate you watching we'll catch you in the next video Bye. take care Bye.